Hi everybody YouTube, welcome to the Major Blood channel on YouTube. Uh, this channel is going to cover all things related to knives, guns, camping, hiking, backpacking, everyday carry, uh, folding knives, fixed blade knives, uh, survival skills, prepping skills, uh, things of that nature. Um, I figured we'd start off with a nice softball for the inaugural video. So we're going to do a knife review on the Ontario Rat One Folder. Uh, I paid $35 for this on Amazon. Uh, it is Amazon Prime. Uh, I'm a member of, so I'm not sure if the price is higher or lower if you write non-Prime member. Uh, the price is probably lower, but you'll pay about the same uh, with shipping and everything else. So, you know, about 35 bucks on Amazon. Uh, I'm not sure what it's going for, for on Blade HQ, but I'm sure it's pretty similar as well. Uh, this particular knife, uh, again, is the Rat 1 from Ontario. Uh, it's a 3.5 inch folder. Um, so here's a close up of the box. It comes in here. Uh, let's see here. You can see on the back, it does uh, sign here. It, it does say it's the Rat One, or it's the Ontario Rat Model One, is what they call it. So let's uh, dive into the box here and see what we got. So, here's the knife here. This is the, uh, the desert tan color. Uh, they offer the knife in uh, four or five other colors. Uh, it's a, there's a black, I think there's a blue, and uh, all kinds of other colors, but so I, I elected for the desert tan. Usually I, uh, I usually I go black, black knife, black blade, black knife, black blade, black knife, black blade, but for some reason this desert tan uh, just jumped out at me and said, buy me, buy me, buy me. So I, I bought it. Um, and this one actually has a, uh, um, a satin finish blade. Uh, again, so usually I, I buy the uh, ones that are, are powder coated with a, a black on there. But this one I got with satin finish. And um, I like it quite a bit. Um, so <clears throat> let's uh, I'll just back up here for a second. The... Um, uh, the folks at Ontario have been very kind, and they have uh, made this knife uh, ambidextrous, so it can be uh, carried tip up, tip down, left pocket, right pocket, so you can uh, move this pocket clip. You can see uh, over here on this side, there's the holes, and on this other side here, you can see on both sides, top and bottom, there are, you can uh, change the uh, position. I myself am a tip up, right pocket carry kind of guy. Uh, unless I'm carrying a second knife, in which case uh, it's still right pocket is my primary, but then I uh, put my second knife in my back left hand pocket for uh, just to have uh, both sides covered. Um, the steel, uh, let's see if we can see it close above it here. Uh, I'm not sure if you can read it or not, but it is Oz 8 steel uh, and it is made in Taiwan. I don't particularly have a problem with Taiwanese Oz 8 steel. Uh, Oz 8 in general is not a fantastic wonder steel, but uh, it's not a horrible steel. Um, it will hold a blade, or I'm sorry, it will hold the, sh it, it, the blade will retain its sharpness for a good amount of time and use. It will dull though uh, after you know after some use, so you will have to maintain the sharpness of the blade. Um, it, it is fairly corrosion resistant, uh, but obviously you want to take care of your blade anyway, and uh, your blade will then take care of you. Now, um, like I said, this is really, for me, uh, this is an everyday carry knife. Um, my uh, my kids asked me, Dad, why do, you, why do you carry a knife with you every day? And the answer is simple, is because I use it every day. There really isn't a day that goes by where I don't need my knife. And I use it all the time, um, whether I'm opening up a box, uh, whether I'm, uh, you know, again, opening up a letter, cutting something up, disposing of something, uh, you know, whatever the case may be, 
I just constantly find myself pulling out my knife and using it for whatever reason it is. So to that end, let's uh, do a little bit of testing here. I got some, uh, some cardboard here. Let's just see. Yeah, I don't know. Snag there, sorry. Yeah, I mean, you can see this thing just, you know, it it, it burns through the cardboard uh, with really no problems. Uh, let's see, let's do, let's do this. I'm gonna fold it over here. Did that, no problems. A triple and see what that does. So we're gonna do triple here. You can see that. Yeah, I mean it. It, it, it cut through. Really, there's a cardboard with absolutely no problems. Um, so, that's to be expected, I suppose. We've got some uh, <clears throat> paracord here. Oops. I'll just cut right through. Let's see here. We're gonna do a uh, double loop paracord here. That, no problems. Let's do, let's do a triple. So. Two layers. Let's snug that up a little bit. Oops, I, I think I, I missed that one there, but you know, you get the idea. It actually, uh, it actually does cut really rather well. Um, I like, uh, it, it doesn't really have any, any problems cutting stuff. Now they, uh, and you can see they put a little bit of, uh, of jimping up here on the, the very, very back end of the blade, uh, close to the, uh, the pivot point there. Uh, it's not aggressive at all. It doesn't hurt your hand or your finger. Uh, I like it. It's uh, it's good. Good to put your thumb on there. It really locks it in place. It doesn't slip up or anything like that, which is nice. Um, Ontario put uh, two liner locks, one on each side, so you can flip it open either way. Uh, I cannot flip this knife open with my wrist. I really have to use the thumb stud. But I mean, it jumps out of that handle like it, uh, it's dying to get out and do something. So it, uh, it wants to come out, which is real nice. Um, Ontario also put a really nice uh, and deep finger twirl here, which I really appreciate. Because uh, I'm not sure if you can see it or not, but uh, on my thumb, here, my finger here, my pointer. Eh, you probably can't see it, but uh, right there. I cut myself because uh, my, my finger slipped up onto to a blade. I ended up getting four or five stitches there. Um, so I really appreciate a, a good finger choil uh, like this one has. And uh, so I, I don't worry about uh, my, my finger slipping up off that choil and, you know, hanging up onto the blade there and cutting myself again um, with a knife here. So I, I really do think... Um, Ontario has made a really great knife here, and and the thing is, for thirty five bucks, I mean, it's amazing uh, what you're getting for thirty five bucks. I mean, like I said, it's it's a it's a great knife. Um, the only thing about it that I dislike is the are the handles, and um, I don't think that they're G ten. I think that the the advertising says that it is, but I don't believe that it is. And the problem I have with the the handle 
um, is that the texture is not aggressive enough. Uh, it's rather soft. I don't know if soft is the right way to put it, but it's it's um, it's slippery, I think, or it's loosey-goosey in your hand. I, I would be, um, if your hand was wet, or if, if, if the handle was wet, I would be slightly in the back of my head, a little bit worried about the possibility of the knife slipping out of your hand just because there's no grip on this handle. And it would be conceivable to me to lose purchase on the handle rather easily because of that. I think that if um, if Ontario, I'm not sure if you can get a close, if I can get close to this here or not, if you can see it, the, the texturing is just so minimal it's like like these little little dimples they put in um and it just isn't enough it just isn't enough um so if they made it sli slightly more aggressive uh it would have been it would have taken this knife from I, I mean right now i'm i'm giving it a, a four out of five or four and a half out of five um, it would be the difference between, you know, a score below five and a score of five. I mean, it, it just, um, it really is that much of, of a big deal um, for me on the knife. You know, and, uh, and lastly, you know, it's not really a bushcraft knife, but I did, uh, did all this, all this work on this little stick here with this knife. So I sort of made a, a faux uh, a tent stake here. Um, I cut out a, uh, let's see, you can see, I cut out a notch here for like a, we we're making a, 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 a trap. Um, I, uh, just did some more chopping and hacking of, of, of stick here. I did a, another steak on the back end here and just sort of, uh, straightened it out a little bit here just to, uh, you know, test the sharpness and what it would and, and could do for me. And it, it performed very well. You know, there were no hot spots. There, I, it didn't slip, slip in my hand while I was doing anything. But again, my hand was dry, so you know, good. good it's good that it didn't slip out of my hand. But uh, you know, it, so it worked out okay. But uh, you know, so it definitely can do the things that um, that it needs to do for around the house, and it definitely can do some small camp type tasks uh you know if you were in the field somewhere and had to do something it could it could do it for you if you needed it to so my uh first review on the channel is going to be of the ontario rat ontario rat model one knife uh in my uh my my opinion this is really a four out of five knife um so if you're looking for an inexpensive but robust uh, carry knife, then I can definitely recommend the Ontario Rat Model 1 for you. So that's it for tonight, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, post any comments, questions, thoughts uh, you have about this video um, in the comment section. And uh, hopefully I'll be talking to you guys real soon. Have a good one. Bye-bye.